Welcome back to City Skylines. Um, it's been quite a while because I've been sick. It seems like I'm always sick when I'm talking to you guys. Um, I just got mesmerised for a moment by watching this Berlin bus, actually, the suspension. Look at that! That's incredible! Man, this game has such a level of detail. Anyway, it's been quite a while so I have no idea where we are or what we're doing. Um, but we do have some expansion to do. Let's get the menu back. I had a strange problem where this is like my third attempt to do this intro and my bank balance keeps disappearing and just nothing is there. Um, anyway, we are running at a surplus ever so slightly. Let's get rid of you. Oh, beaten to it. And we do have a garbage problem. And that is indeed a problem. Uh, what can I do about that? Hmm. See, I, I could... Because the problem is, I don't really want the trucks going all the way through the outskirts of the city to get just to here. So it kind of makes sense to have something outlined by the train tracks or something, but doing that sort of boxes me in later, so... I'm kind of reluctant to buy this space because there's not going to be a lot. I'm going to do it anyway. How much does it cost? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. So that frees up a little bit of space. Um, and we can have have a road come off the park here. And we'll have a dump somewhere out here. You know, just away from uh, away from the rich folk. Don't like it. They don't like it. So, it's time to spend some of our 10,000 whatevers, 11,000, um, on some expansion. And we have a very high demand for some industrial capacity, which makes me sort of think actually that coming down here wasn't necessarily a bad idea. Um, except it is, actually. It is, because we're going to have traffic coming in this way which is probably going to swing around here, come down there, go down that route. Yeah, that's a long way for it to go. I wonder if there is a clean solution that doesn't look terrible for getting traffic up and over here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, we've unlocked some city planning policies, um, a heavy traffic ban, which I'm going to need later, and oil industry specialization. I've never actually used that before. How do you know? How do you know if you've got oil? Because I saw that it was a stat on the. Um, it was a stat on the start screen that shows whether you have oil or certain minerals and things, but I didn't I didn't realise really <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, choking to death there. Um yeah I saw there was a a score, shall we say, for um minerals and oil and, and so forth, but what I didn't see was how the minerals and the oil are distributed on the map. So I have no idea if we can just fucking drill anywhere or what. This garbage problem's getting quite serious as well. We're gonna need a we're gonna need another dump. Tell you what, rather than building something out here, we will build a general a general sort of industrial spot up here. Um We'll stick with this. And we don't want to go too far into the forest. You know, reject society and all that. 
Um, is there a clean way of doing that? No, there is not. But... See, the problem is as well that I don't necessarily want to keep having these small blocks because you see it creates this sort of traffic bottleneck which can be a real pain in the balls later. Um... Hmm... We'll just have to have some space free in the middle. I know some of you are going to hate the idea of redundant space, but, I mean, we're lucky because it isn't SimCity, so it's not like we're super tight for space. There is, you know, an ability to expand. So we're going to throw some industrial in here, deal with that high industrial demand. I'm always reluctant to put industrial right next to... Oh, we actually have some industrial capacity down here. Interesting. Interesting. See, this is where it becomes painfully obvious if it wasn't already that I haven't played in a while. Um, no, I think that's a good spot for that, actually. Um, I'll throw commercial in on this side. Industrial behind. And we can always repurpose that later. And then really I want to be building away from from the forestry, if I can. The terrain also is getting to be a bit of a problem. Um, obviously the real place that this is based on is very uneven. Um, so I should have anticipated that problem, but I didn't. So... Um, now we have a problem with sewage. So I guess we need another sewage outflow. Okay, what? See, I had to take care of that really quickly because that's when you get serious health problems developing and our money's going up strongly. Um, so, we definitely have some money to spend here. I'm liking how things are sort of developing... ...organically, like... I mean, the problem with the green is it's not particularly green anymore. We're getting some quite... ...high buildings in here. I wonder if I can actually do a high, a high building ban at this point. Let's see... Um... No, 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 not that, not that. <laughs> uh, oh, it's this. There we go. What can we do here? See, I can't really do a heavy traffic ban, although you might be forgiven for thinking that kind of makes sense, but, like, you see, we have a lot... It's almost in exclusively heavy traffic coming down here. That's a man in desperate need of a bus. Um... I can't remember if we connected this area to the bus system, actually. If you've just watched the last episode, and now you're coming to this, you're gonna... You're gonna think I'm a complete idiot. And you would be right. Welcome to the channel. Um... Let's... Let's what? Let's, first of all, throw down a spot of residential. Just a... I'm trying to thin the spread of buildings on the outskirts of the city, so it kind of... It, I, I don't like the idea of just having a rough border, you know, like a, a solid line where here are buildings, there are no buildings beyond this point. Because that's not really how human settlements have ever developed. Um, there we go. And then... Coming across the opposite side... have a little a little series of small cul-de-sacs maybe and 
and then I'll figure out how to make this look less stupid um, as we go on. But for the moment, it's kind of serving a purpose um, in that it's allowing me to expand, but it's not removing too many options for what I can do in here. Because, as I said in previous videos, I'm trying to actually move the city centre to be either on just on this bank or somewhere over here with the rail line passing through it, because that's actually really handy. Um, rail connections are important. Does that stray into there? No, it doesn't. Anyway, let's give these people water. Generous to a fault, that's my problem. Weirdly enough, the bin men don't require tea for coffee. Um, tea for coffee? Water for tea and coffee. It's been a long day. Um, let's throw that up there. We'll give them... Is there something that fits nicely in that? I bet there isn't. Feel, I feel like they deserve something. Let's pop that there. Um, and we'll slam a, a cemetery down at the bottom of this street. That power situation should, I like to think, fix itself. <laughs> um, but what we'll do in the meantime, until it does, is just throw something ugly in as a solution. I can bulldoze that later. At least it's only hanging out with the freeway. So they've got water and everything. I don't know if they need... No, they've got health coverage. They do not have fire coverage, so that was important to establish. Um, I'll throw that out here. They don't have police coverage either. This is getting more expensive than I anticipated. And education. No, of course not. So I can't afford a high school for them. So they get education, but only up to a point. I mean, it's good as well because you know, it kind of, it should be able to service any small villages that pop up down here as well, and it should also supplement what's already on this side. Um, I'm beginning to think that having this as a one-way system was actually actually smart, unless there's a fire up here. <laughs> but that hasn't happened yet, so that's fine. We have burger joint, got a park, got some houses popping up. Perfect. I'm going to crank the speed up a little bit. Now we're getting big, big demand growing for um, commercial, which is a little bit harder to cite actually at the moment, and we're getting power problems again. Um, And we're low on the old money as well. We are still running a surplus though, so if I wait a while, what I will do is... An oil power plant produces less pollution. Same noise pollution as coal. But generates way more power. Oh, but it is 50 grand. See, that could be a good investment, especially if I start exploiting oil somewhere on the map um, which to be honest I guess would happen somewhere down here so it's not polluting and interfering with the main bulk of the city um, hmm. well we can't get your power right now so you're just going to have to live with it
come on, move in and pay me money to live here. Okay, so now we can begin attempting to address some of the power problems. Again, ugly, I know, but it's a temporary stopgap solution until uh, I've got an oil power plant in place, or maybe solar. I, I'm not entirely sure yet how effective solar would be for our needs, but um, I've kind of, I'm looking at this and I've kind of... I think this is as big as I can allow this to, to get, unless I'm prepared to replace the roads and move that sort of... I, mean, I suppose it does make sense actually to move the dirt roads and the more limited population somewhere out here, but I'm very aware that at the moment we only have, you know, one entry exit point for the freeway on each side of um, the city limits. I think investing in buses has actually done us a lot more favours than uh, I've given it credit for as well because uh, I'm used to having really big traffic problems almost the entire way through the game so it's pleasant not to have been uh, challenged with that so far. I'm gonna let the speed up a little bit I'm gonna try and fill things up a bit. Yeah, cross roads and intersections that are too close together can cause congestion which is exactly what they're doing um, but again I'm hoping like all, a lot of this heavy traffic and stuff that we have to divert this way at the moment I'm hoping later we can divert to a, a true industrial estate that's kind of out of the way of, um, of the main city which which is actually something I can I can actually do that I can actually do that um, because I can actually pull traffic on and off at any point down this length now so I could actually build a, a, an external industrial settlement, put all my polluting buildings there, all my noisy buildings there maybe then repurpose Whiteland into something a bit more commercial residential I'm probably getting ahead of myself because I've still not really built the city centre. I, you know, I want to build something attractive in the end. Like I don't care at the moment that these outskirts are a little bit out of line. Um, <laughs> I'm more bothered about getting a taxpayer base in that's going to support the growth I need to make. God, what are these people doing that requires so much power? Fine, you fucking vampire bastards, sucking me dry. I, I presume this is because, uh, um, yeah, buildings must be growing. I don't think the city's going to turn into a barren wasteland. I think we're okay. No need to be melodramatic tend to it a person. So if you've happened to build your department store somewhere over here you've made a poor life decision um, because I'm gonna have to begin expanding this out probably next episode um, <clears throat> and I should actually probably have that a little bit higher off the ground I guess I'm not really doing myself any favours by having it so low either because if I'd been smarter I might not have to bulldoze some of these buildings but hey ho, you live and learn and at least this is industrial that's easily accessible so I'm guessing I'm going to need to move this up <coughs> bring new exits and on-ramps over here and then I can think about actually beginning to build the, the true city and that gives me this space to use for uh, pr primarily residential, I think. You know, and then have com people <coughs> commute into the commercial centre of the city. Or commute down to what will become the industrial centre. Uh, 
how are things going over here? Just getting to grips really with um, what's going on while we've been away. That is a lot of traffic coming in and down there. I'm going to keep complaining about that until I motivate myself to do something about it. Anyway, residential demand is on the up and up again. So I'm going to build a huge, I mean genuinely large residential block I think. Um, I'm probably going to end up regretting not choosing to <laughs> not choosing the bigger um, street there, but I have no time for regrets right now because it's build o'clock. This map is very hard to work with. I'm glad this is I'm glad this is the external part of the city really. Um, okay, they're gonna want water because they're fussy like that. I couldn't really tell what actually happened there, but something happened. Oh god, they're gonna need everything. They're definitely gonna need a high school. I think that's safe to say. Um, Slamming Elementary School. A cemetery there. Oh god, more power problems. Oh god, they're connected now. Excellent. Is everything from here connected to each other? Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. So it was still smart for me to spend that money I just did on that windmill, really. So at least these people are educated. I don't know if their healthcare is any good. We don't even have a hospital yet, either. This might be a good place for the hospital. Um, they've got some police coverage, some fire coverage. That's the, that's the big thing that could cause us problems early on, so whoop to do for that. Um, where am I going to satisfy this commercial demand? Because these people are going to need some commercial, especially because it is mostly residential around there. I mean, there's a commercial centre sort of here. Um, yeah, do you know what? It's just going to be residential. We can have a park. Um, if they don't build so quickly. No, too late. You've done yourselves out of a the park there. Oh, there you go. You can have a baseball field so all the kids don't get fat. How's that? Let's build it somewhere where the terrain's not going to pop through it. There. And what I'll actually do is yeah look at that look at that right now I need to begin clearing out these power lines oh that's what the problem was that's what it was I know. Ugly as fuck, but whatever. We're going to remodel the whole thing anyway. So these areas don't actually have names yet, but I think they're distinct. So...
There we go. Kind of neat. Kind of. We've got another zone down here as well, actually. Um, which I'm not sure what it is, but it's something distinct. Uh, I think Anchor Square is a terrible name. Fawn District, Hamilton District. I guess we can keep Hamilton District. That's not necessarily a bad name. I don't know who it's named for, but... Just, just power things, please. Thank you. We're getting close to having enough money for that oil power plant, actually, which could solve a lot of these messy, messy problems that we're having. I really am beginning to pick, regret picking this map, simply because, like, I, I guess the elevation does make it interesting. Like, it is, it is going to look visually, visually interesting as it develops, but initially it just makes it look very, very untidy. See what comes out of it. Um, we're going to rename this place. Um, we will name it. We will name it after Simon. There you go. I hope you appreciate that, Simon, if you're watching. Um, and we'll have recycling in there because we have a bit of a problem um, <laughs> with um, trash. So that kind of sorts it out. And a uh, bit of recreational use there for you, Simon. Parks and recreation. Nice. Hopefully that doesn't dent our budget too much, but it shouldn't. Now, I know what you might be thinking, that it's not technically a square, but shut up <laughs> shut up with your details and this place can be another TBD and if you have ideas slam them below let me know we will name things in a way and manner that pleases us all didn't like that name either so it's actually yeah we're, it took it was a lot of talking to get that built but we are getting to the point where we're actually um, moving towards the ultimate goal. Um, what have we done this episode? So, we've done a lot of complaining. We've whinged about the traffic in the green, which I need to do something about. We've mentally planned out a uh, industrial estate somewhere down here with sort of commercial, uh, not commercial, uh, rural communities in between. We've built a trash pile with some windmills attached. Uh, we've had some power problems which we've solved and we have built a square that isn't a square full of people to live in um, and named it after Simon. Thanks so 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 very much for being patient and for joining me again. Um, the next episode will be a bit more um, progressive, uh, not in the political sense, um, because I'll be sort of back on track with where we were when we left off really. Uh, I'm going to re-familiarise myself with what I was actually doing, watch my old videos back so <laughs> we can pick up where we left off truly. But we are making progress, we are back, thanks very much, I'll see you soon.